Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Um, just wanted to do a quick video that shows how to do channel packing. So I'm going to open a new document, 1024 by 1024 RGB color. Document opens. So sometimes these documents open where the, the first layer isn't a background layer. You need it to be a background layer so you can stack your uh, textures into the, the channels. So if you go here to layer new, background layer from layer, you get a background layer. Um, now I like to, to turn it black. So um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll fill this layer with black, control backspace to fill it with the foreground color, right? And then, uh, so on my first channel, I'll do the same. I'll, I'll add a new channel or a new layer, I'm sorry, and uh, control back, alt backspace to fill that with black as well. And uh, I'll come up here to filter, render clouds. And that gives us our first noise channel. Um, so we'll, we'll label this as red, uh, R for red. And um, we'll just right click duplicate this layer. And then we'll call this one green. And then up here in uh, filter, we'll go to uh, other offset. And that just shifts the texture a little bit in the horizontal and the vertical. And uh, these numbers are arbitrary because it, do it doesn't really matter. It just needs to be a little different than the previous. So whatever these numbers are is fine. I'll hit OK. And what we'll do, we'll come over here and we'll see. I'll turn the visibility of G on and off, and we'll see those two are different, right? So that's what we want. So duplicate G one more time. And this will be B. And uh, we'll just come up here to filter. Uh, and we can just go to the top here where it just repeats the previous action offset, right? And so now we click off B on B, and we'll see it's different from G. And uh, we have our three channels. Right, so now turn off all your channels except for R. And if we control click R, that'll select everything, and then control C on R, and then hide R and go down to your background layer. And in the red channel of your background layer, control V, and that pastes that noise there, right? So now it's just red in that channel, and that's because it only has one channel of color. Uh, so let's add the green channel. Turn on G, control click the layer, and then control C, and then turn off G. Go down to your background layer. Go to the G channel of your background layer, the green channel, control V. And if you come back up to RGB, you'll see it has two channels of color, red and green. You do the same action, turn on blue, control click blue's layer, control C, turn off blue, go down to your background layer. And then blue, control V, right? Now we have three channels of color packed into our texture. All that's left to do is export, right? Save as whatever you're really wanting to save as. And that's it.